everybody, welcome to the Ron Line Report. Today I want to give you guys an update, some quick results on the show that just happened yesterday in Seoul, Korea. It's called the Monster Zim Korean Pro. And I'm going to talk about Open and 212. Open, uh, we do have two more open shows still left in the season. These are shows where guys can get their qualification if they win. They can get their qualification for the 2020, 2020 Mr. Olympia, which means they don't have to worry next year about picking a show to qualify at and getting ready for that. And if they don't win that to get their qualification, they might have to do another show leading into Olympia. Winning these post-Olympia shows and getting the qualification very early on gives them a much better, much better chance to plan out their year and they know exactly when they're going to be prepping and competing and they're already qualified. So without further ado, congratulations to the winner, Nathan DeAsha. Nathan DeAsha from the UK. Nathan has had a whirlwind year. Uh, before even getting into the contest uh, situations that he's been in, he has had, according to his trainer, Matt Jensen, not one, two, but three minor muscle tears this year. We also know he had eye surgery shortly before the British Grand Prix. And, of course, he had some legal issues he had to take care of. That actually forced him out of the Olympia at the last minute. He was supposed to be in the Olympia, but there was a court date he had to make Monday morning after the Olympia in the U.K., Everything's resolved now, but it did force him to miss the Mr. Olympia, which he was not too happy about. So competitive-wise, uh, Nathan did have a win earlier in the season in his native UK at the British Grand Prix. Then it was three, three runner-up placings in a row. He had runner-ups at the Vancouver Pro to Hadi Chupan, the Fit Parade, I'm sorry, the Yamamoto Pro Cup in Italy the week after the Olympia to Roly Winkler. And then just last weekend in Hungary at the Fit Parade Hungary Pro, he was runner-up to Cedric McMillan. So three second places in a row. That had to be tough. It's, uh, but he did finish the season strong with a win here in Korea. That gives him his ticket for the Olympia. So Nathan is all set. Congratulations. He looked fantastic. Second place, Juan Morel. Juan was also in excellent condition. Uh, Juan looked fuller than he had at the Olympia for sure. He overdied at the Olympia. He knows that. But he filled out a little bit, kept his condition, looked really, really good. But second place, you know, Juan had a great year anyway. Um, he did win the Arnold Classic South America back in Brazil. And second place to Nathan Dasha. You know, these two have gone back and forth a few times, most notably at the New York Pro uh, in 2018, where he did, uh, Nathan did edge him out there as well. So they certainly have a rivalry now, if they, if you're guessing. Third place went to California's On Wing. That's A-N-N-G-U-Y-E-N. -N -E On has been uh, very good for a few years now. Just needed to get his conditioning on point. He seems to have a handle on it now. He's coming in much sharper all the time now than he was. So I think we're going to be seeing more and more high placings from On in the, in the months and years to come. Fourth place, a uh, gentleman I was not familiar with, Mohamed El Elam from Russia. Fifth place went to Daniel Toth from Hungary. 212 division, we had a win there for Hide Yamagishi. Uh, congratulations, Hide. Now, Hide is also the promoter of the Japan Pro on November 17th. So he was prepping for this show while getting everything ready for his own promotion over in Japan next month. Could not have been easy. Runner-up was Ahmed, Ahmed El Sadani from Kuwait. Third place, uh, a guy I haven't heard of yet, but he's from Iran, just like Hadi, Jafar Gafar Nezed Azizi. Um, I think we're going to start seeing more and more great bodybuilders coming on out of Iran. You know, Hani Rambad has said there are some, there's some excellent talent over there, but they just, they're hidden away. They're bottled up over there, mostly because of political turmoil. They can't get a visa. There's a travel ban uh, from the U.S. that does not allow Iranians to come in. So uh, that's probably discouraged a lot of them from venturing out of Iran. But now that they see how successful Hadi Chupan has been, I do believe we're going to start seeing more and more of their, their top competitors venturing out of Iran and, and making names for themselves. So congrats to this guy. And fourth place went to Samir Trudy from Sweden. Um, that is it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when we do new videos. Congratulations to Nathan DeAsha and Hidetada Yamagishi. They already have their qualifications for the 2020 Mr. Olympia contest, which is almost a year away. So good job, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.